What was the most fucked up thing you saw in school? The white dove they released for, Peace Day. Got immediately snatched mid-flight by a red-tailed hawk. This was in elementary school. Saw a kid throw a pickleball paddle at a gym teacher. Knocked her unconscious. Blood everywhere. He was suspended for some time, was in his hole. Saw a girl stomp on another girl's jaw with her high-heeled boot for looking at her boyfriend at the next lunch table over. I heard she had to get her jaw wired. A kid in my biology class accidentally stabbed his face with scissors. Then another kid chased him out of the room with a microscope slide to catch a few drops of blood. So he took his blood-covered slide and the teacher resignedly let us see the red blood cells still moving around. The stabbed kid was fine. A few stitches and he was good to go. In 6th grade. My math teacher was arrested for having child plus 1-8 movies on his laptop and watching it during breaks. He had just finished helping me on a math problem when he looked up at me. Smiled. And said. I really like that birthmark on your face. It looks like a teardrop it looks really cute. When the vice principal walks into the room and asks him to step outside. We have big wind down in our classroom and the front door was wide open. Outside stood the entire administration and two police officers. The vice principal took his laptop. And they left. Never saw that teacher again. A guy literally sitting on a teacher's desk. A kid hung himself on a playground our senior year. I hear his brother found him. This all happened a week after two of the brother's friends. Also seniors. Died when they wrapped their classic Mustang around a tree near the HS. Made for a rough senior year to say the least. Someone hung themselves in the girl's locker room. People came in to change. And had to hold her feet up to make sure that she didn't die. It was frocked. My middle school teacher did a thing where we could bring our pets to school. A kid in my class got attacked by a macaw after he tried to grab it off a desk so he could play with it and had to go to the hospital to get stitches. I was suspended and grounded for bringing a macaw to school. When I was 8 we were making cookies in class and they gave us square cheese graters to make chocolate chips with. Because they didn't trust us with knives. A fair judgment. Some kid was holding a few graters and pretended to be a robot. This girl shouted at him because he wasn't a robot and proceeded to take one of the graters and grate his hand. Lots of blood happened and then a pair of twins both fainted. It was a rival football game and the stands were packed. A section of the old wood bleachers collapsed and 20 or so students went to the hospital with numerous broken bones, concussions, and lacerations of various degrees. During the same game, I saw a guy get hit so hard in the leg that it shattered and both bones were showing. Poor kid ended up in a wheelchair for the rest of the school year. I was in HS in the 90s. They announced the OJ verdict over the PA system. A girl with bulimia tried to shout down a spiral staircase. But because her gag reflex was so weak she vomited from a great height instead. Oh the splash. A kid jumped over the balcony to try and beat the rush on mashed potato day. He broke both his legs. Did not get his potatoes. These two kids got into fight at my school. Somewhere during the tussle one kid lost his balance and on the way down threw the meanest uppercut ever. He connected on the other kid's bare teeth and pushed them into his gums. He frocked up his own hand really bad. Blood just everywhere and no teachers in sight for like another three minutes. A kid clipped the tip of his tongue off with a pair of safety scissors after someone dared him to. Some girl broke up with a guy, so he smeared his sit on her locker and pissed all over it. Nothing that I personally saw at my high school was disturbingly frocked up. Just weird. Some kid smuggled in a bunch of onions and clogged all the downstairs toilets with them. Who the hell does that? I was in 9th grade. One of our classmates got drunk. Stripped and streaked the lunchroom. Gymnasium. Basically any place crowded. The staff was afraid to tackle a naked teenager so we all got an eyeful. Some Doombas kid stuck a pair of tweezers in an old outlet that didn't even have a circuit breaker so IDK how he didn't die. In my school there was a kid. Or multiple kids. We don't know. Who would sit in a urinal every once in a while. They were known as the urinal sitter. Someone made a meme with the grim reaper going to the doors template with all the bathrooms they had done it in. And the reaper going into the last bathroom. The office bathroom. The meme spread very quickly and I guess some teachers saw it. Since there is blood in the meme. Coming from under all the closed doors. They decided it was a credible threat of violence. 
They closed the school for two days for safety concerns. Just a super weird story all around. Someone had taken a mace of sit. It was larger than a coffee cup in width and considerably longer. So large it was impossible to flush. People were lined up into the halls to see this monstrosity. Including faculty. You know it's a small town when when a turd calls that much attention. Edit. Damn this blew up. Thanks for the silver and all the upvotes. On a side note I never knew that such thing as a poop knife existed but thank you dear redditors for the laughs. There was a girl I was friends with who had developed early and had pretty big boobs and considered thick for a fifth grader. Hanged with a group of five or six girls. Most of the girls in this group were short. Skinny. And the. Pretty. Ones of the class so she stuck out from that group. During recess these five girls ganged up on her and pulled down. Sometimes ripping her shirt exposing her chest and laugh cause they thought it was funny. She'd fight it and tell them to stop but they'd do it even more sometimes pinning her arms to the side so they could. She ended up hanging out with me more and finding different friends in middle school. Middle school. I was chilling in the band room and I look out to the hall to see a kid with some sort of liquid coming out of his eye. Later I found out some kid stabbed his eye with a pencil. A girl was coming back from a doctor's appointment and wasn't there to hear that we couldn't get out equipment for recess. She opened the door. Grabbed something and went to leave. The wind kicked up and slammed the door on her hand and she lost a finger. They rushed her to the hospital and they sewed it back on and eventually it was back to normal but that was the most frocked up thing I had seen. In first grade a boy pulled his pants and underwear to bellow his knees and laid down on his back. Then a girl spat on him. I don't remember why but I will never forget that sight. Didn't actually see it. But the most frocked up thing that happened in my school was the time a sophomore videoed a special needs kid jerking it off in the bathroom stall from above in the stall next to him. Edit. Didn't expect this thing to blow up. So thanks for that, I think. Secondly. Just to clarify a few things. I'm from Alabama, and I'm not saying which high school I came from for privacy reasons and for the fact that this is really one of very few incidents that happened there. It was a pretty good for a public school. All things considering. The dude who recorded it did get into trouble. I want to say he got suspended at least. And the we were all given an assembly not long after about 16 and how, why it was illegal. We. Entire school. Watched some guy jump from 12th floor. A couple frocking in the dumpster behind the cafeteria. For the rest of the year. People would walk up behind the dude crinkling paper and asking if it was getting him hard. Asterisk just to add a bit. Four or five of my friends and I stumbled upon this event while we were coming back on campus and one of them went to throw his trash away. It got around the school pretty damn fast. It's probably a good thing that I'm old enough that the smartphone wasn't a thing when I was in high school because there's a good shot that one of the group would have been dumb and taken a picture that included a 17-year-old having sex. Having a guy who killed his wife then come to the school and held my class hostage to try to force the school to give him his son so he could kill him. He was finally caught on his way to kill his parents. Edit. Another thing. Kind of. My chemistry teacher. Years after I graduated. Worked at the school with his wife. They had adjoining classrooms. He shot and killed the vice principal after school. He was in a meeting with him and the union rep because he was accused of inappropriate contact by a female student. Went out to his car to get his gun came back and killed the VP. Edit. Link to second story. First story was in 1975. M Live. Com. Politics. 2013-04. Chelsea School Shooter Gun Con. HTML. About a month into my first year of high school two girls got into a fight during lunch. The principal got hold of one of them and was pulling her away. She was trying to break free and during that her tit popped out. The principal tried getting her shirt back on her but ended up grabbing her tit instead. We were in 4th grade in class just let out for a 5 minutes break. I was with a group of girls and we walked into the bathroom. On the far wall was a giant ring of sit painted in the shape of a heart. There was even visible undisguised food in the feces that, for some reason, is burned into my memory. There was a kind of a witch hunt. The principal called out students in the hallway, one by one, to question the kids. No one confessed as far as I remember. But there was a lot of suspicion surrounding a boy who liked to talk about butts and flatulence. I'm not even sure that he did it. But make too many as whole jokes in class and something like this happens. You are suspect number one. Some kid kept sitting in the sink every week and they had to keep cleaning it up. 
One day I walked in the bathroom and someone had put sit on the wall. A girl had diarrhea and was wearing tights and sitting in class and the tights started getting really really lumpy but she didn't get up to go to the bathroom. A giant hawk swooped down on campus and sunk its talons into the back of a squirrel foraging for acorns about 20 or 25 yards from me. Scared the bejesus out of me. He stood on it like a boss for a few seconds and then flew off with it. This was at like 7. 30 in the morning so it took me a while to wrap my brain around it. The guy walking in front of me spun around and said. Please tell me you saw that. I saw the PE teacher getting a heart attack during class and dying. It was frocking scary. There was a ginger vegan that would chew carrots up in his mouth and chase people around. Spitting carrots at them. He ended up getting his head slammed into a bag hook in a fight afterwards. Watched two girls get into a fight. One girl had a bunch of ear piercings and was wearing so many hoops it looked like chainmail. The other girl got her on the ground. Grabbed those hoops and pulled. Hard. I will never forget the scream. The rings didn't give. But her ear sure as hell did. Blood everywhere. The girl standing over her like a goddamn psychopath holding a very recognizable ear in the air above her head. It was frocking Mortal Kombat in real life. Many years ago I sat next to a kid in high school who went on to kill his mom. He would always bring in photos of homemade bombs from 2 liter bottles. Flamethrowers from squirt guns. Etc. I thought it was the coolest thing and was so impressed by it until later on when I received recognized I was encouraging a to be murderer to keep being violent. The boys in my class bred mold in one of the lockers. They managed to get milk so moldy. Some yellow fluid was all around it. Saw three little dudes try to jump this massive mountain of a guy in the cafeteria. He fended them off pretty good till the teachers who were football coaches managed to break it up. I had a friend that was allergic to so many things he had to eat the same thing every day that he brought from home. I literally mean every day for years. He had a very bad day failed a test some things happened at home. We met up at lunch and he had two slices of pepperoni pizza. He told said today seems like a good day to die and proceeded to wolf down both slices. I had never seen him so happy. I walked him to the nurse's office as he ballooned up. He was hospitalized for two weeks. He never regretted the decision. So frocked up on a funny way. Two guys were yelling in the hallway and it was about to come to blows. Guy 1 goes back to swing at guy 2 and proceeds to miss by mile. Into another girl. Girl kicks guy 1 square in the balls. He falls back into another student. And then it dominoes into the crowd that had gathered around. The teacher that was in the way came running up and slipped on something and went into the air and landed straight on his back. I swear it was like something in a movie. No one was really hurt but god that series of events was timed perfectly. A girl got gangbanged and one of the guys was HIV positive. She got it. This was in 1995. Someone's phone blew up in our school courtyard. Rest of the day smelt like battery juice. In high school a guy punched a girl in the face. Slammed her head into the wall. And threw her on the ground. He was big and mean enough that the adults just froze in their tracks. Someone found our choir teacher in a Pornhub video. He had to come to school the next day but he couldn't teach class so he was just aimlessly walking around school all day. By that time. Everyone had either seen the video or they knew about it. He eventually got fired. I seen a teacher have a literal mental breakdown in front of an entire class. He was a English teacher and was in charge of looking after the kids that other teachers couldn't wouldn't deal with. I guess one day he just snapped. Stood up. Threw a chair at a pupil and started punching holes in walls and screaming in a really psychotic manner. The teacher next door heard the commotion and realized pretty quickly what was happening. She came in and persuaded him to go with her to the staff room or something and we never seen him again. Maybe not the type of frocked up you are after but when I was in school I was trying to find a way to tell my parents that I was getting sexually abused by my uncle. At least in Italy. If you tell a teacher they should at the very least speak to the principal and then report to the police. I thought it was the best way possible to avoid speaking with my parents about it directly but also to free myself ASAP. I had to get a friend to help me and cried the whole time while explaining. She has two young kids and stared at me in the eyes and said, just tell it to your mom. And never spoke again. She also denied in trial when they asked. It felt awful. It was a psychology teacher and I tough she would somewhat understand me and help me to seek help. 
a dude went into the hallway and cut himself with scissors. He had gotten in trouble from a teacher he hated and sent into the hallway. I was in the classroom, so I didn't see him actually do it. But when he got inside there was blood on his clothes hands. Later talked to the kid and saw the cuts going from his thumb to his wrist. They didn't seem deep but there were a lot of them. And I had been worried. Edit. I am not in touch with him now. But he didn't appear to harm himself after the incident. He did have some anger problems. Though. Might have something to do with family. In high school knew a kid who was a legitimate crackhead. Stated arguing with on the security guards one day and ended up punching a security glass window hard enough to crack it. Pretty sure he broke multiple bones in his hand. Also didn't see but heard about a girl in a gangbang in one of the stairwells. No one wanted to use it after the new came out. Not desperately frocked up but the best prank played on a teacher I know of was when my younger brother found a giant test tube in the cupboards up the back of the chemistry lab. He farted in it. Sealed it with his hand then walked up to the teacher and asked what experiment had been done in it because it had. A funny smell. Teacher naturally took an inquisitive sniff. Wasn't there but heard about it from friends there. One of the most loved teachers in my school was doing a dance class for a bunch of pupils and they were copying her every movement. She had a stroke and fell to the floor and a bunch of kids did the same thinking it was part of the routine. Pretty tragic cause she later died in hospital. We had this real pervy dude who later threatened to shoot up the school. He would constantly grab girls and harass people and eventually he decided to frock around with the sister of two identical twin brothers who are nearly 6'6". Six, six. Needless to say they tore him apart. Hit him so hard his shoe flew off then beat him for another approximately 30 seconds. He was covered in blood. Could hardly walk. And had his other shoe stolen by the twins. As they were being escorted out in cuffs everyone started cheering and yelling to free them. Edit. Spelling. Edit. So upon talking to a friend who was there. They broke his arm and gave him a concussion. Our study halls were out in the open. Think of it as a classroom with no walls. Just a bunch of desk out in the open. So during study hall we could see anyone walking the halls or anything going on we could see. My senior year and there was a freshman girl that had been bullied all year. I guess no one saw it happening. I'm in study hall and the girl walks into the bathroom. Next thing we all hear is a scream and the breaking of glass. Our teacher runs into the girl's bathroom and runs out to get help. The girl had hit the mirror hard enough to break it into pieces. She then immediately took a sharp chunk and cut her wrist. Help got to her in time and she made it. It was definitely the talk of the school for the rest of the year and probably after that. Two kids started fighting. One picked up a collegiate mug from the teacher's desk and threw it at the other. Mug hit the wall and shattered. Teacher came in and yelled. What the frock motherfrocker. That's my sit. We were in sixth grade. This girl in my sophomore year sent denudes to an English teacher. When he rejected her advances, she reported him for possession of child plus one eight movies. He lost his job, his teaching license, and nearly faced jail time. He was a pretty chill dude too and was well liked by the student body. Goes without saying, the girl received a ton of death threats and ended up dropping out. My friend's uncle had recently shot and gutted a deer. We decided to bring the severed deer head to school and unlocked the trophy cabinet and stuck the head in amongst the other trophies. In school suspension for all involved. I had a religion teacher in high school named Mr. Nguyen. Who was working on becoming a Jesuit priest and was a really cool guy. He always had a smile on his face and did his best to make class a fun experience for everyone. There was a kid in my class who was a really annoying smart ass. But Mr. Nguyen was always really patient with him. Until one day he pushed him too far. I forgot exactly what the kid said. But it definitely crossed the line. Mr. Nguyen slammed his fists on his desk and shouted. Why can't you ever shut the frock up? He then picked up his stapler and chucked it at the kid. Missing his head by a few inches and leaving a huge dent in the wall and then stormed out into the hallway. I had never seen a teacher blow up like that and I definitely never expected it from him. Not in the schoolyard but on a school trip to Cambodia we went to the killing fields. I was walking on the path and heard a crunch. Long story short I learned what it sounds like to walk on human bones. This classic popular click in high school was in history right? So the teacher, who looks so very depressed, and doesn't care about anything pretty much, was just bringing up videos and assignments to show us but he had recently got a tablet and was still kinda figuring it out. 
Somehow he brings up the airdrop code and we all knew what was about to happen, so we forget about it for a while. But here's the thing. There was the girl in the back on her phone. And she was kinda giggling with her friends and I knew it was gonna happen. I expected like an offensive image or maybe a dig pic or something. But she brings up a whole as picture of BDSM goth porn with blood everywhere. She was later expelled and the teacher fired. In college, a guy dressed as Gandalf came into the classroom and said, Thou shall not paw. Then left. It was right before finals. The kid who pulled his pants down to his ankles to use the urinal. I was homeschooled previously. I was very nervous for my first day at high school. In my first class. Algebra. Christ. A boy pulled my hair and asked me if I was a lesbian because my hair tips were dyed red. Then he whipped out his dig and asked if I was still a lesbian. 0 to 100 real fast. Maybe ties with the boy who gave me a black eye. For my attention. By throwing a large rock at my face and then later cracked a yardstick across my as in science class. I took my thick as science book and sideswiped him upside the head. Teacher looked the other way. I learned to stand up for myself. Ha. Huh. One of the girls in my class thought she was pregnant in 7th grade. She told me first and I said nothing. She told every other girl in the grade minutes one or two. Three days later I get called into the office and the girl is blaming ME for spreading lies about her. I got in trouble even after explaining myself and having other witnesses come in. The principal called my parents in for a meeting with her and went off on them about my reckless behavior. The only other time I had ever in my life been in Torubal was in 6th grade when I got sent to the office for doodling base USE one of my 6th grade teachers hated me. Fortunately, my parn believed me because they knew the other girl was a liar. But it still sucked because that incident was stuck to my name and not hers. Saw a dude walk through a plate glass window that was between two double glass doors. I think he assumed it was a door and walked up and tried to push it open. Glass shattered everywhere as he kept walking through. Never looked back. In junior high saw a fight between two guys. One guy ended up on top of the other pinning his arms down. The guy on top then reached into the back of his pants and came up with a handful of sit which he then spread all over the other guy's face and mouth. Everyone was in disbelief. Saw a girl get raped. I was 12. Didn't know what rape was. Happy cake day. Some guys came in one day to show off some viking armory. Weapons and clothes. One of them went a little too far with the accuracy and his balls were on full display while he demonstrated stuff to us. We were all sitting down so we could all see it. We didn't say anything at the time but we told the teachers later and they didn't give a sit. Really weird stuff. I saw a girl get her throat slashed with a box cutter over some shoes once. Yeah. That was an experience. Walked into the bathroom my sophomore year to a freshman girl. Pale and shaking. Trying to pierce her own nose with a pushpin. Well to be fair she had already succeeded with the pushpin. She asked me to hold it while she shoved a gauge. SP. Stud into the hole. It actually happened as we were leaving after lost period but a boy that was in my class since I was like 6 and always did really frocked up stuff. Almost no one liked him. Was ran over by a car. We were like 12 or 13 years old. I didn't see it because my house was on the other direction. Me and my friend who was walking with me heard something but didn't turn around cause we were hungry. The kid survived and came back to school a few months later and toned it down when it came to being a little sit. At my cousin's school the rival school's mascot was a cougar. Some the country kids shot one and hung it from the field goal before the football game. A bunch of 8th graders beating up a 6th grader. Oh and also when we dissected bullfrogs in science class. One kid just took the spleen, like. He took it home with him. He is rumored to have a collection of various animal spleens. Some kid at my high school decided it would be a good idea to throw one of those big trash cans of a second story balcony. It hit a poor innocent girl that had to be hospitalized. He was expelled and I haven't heard any news on her condition. Someone vandalized the bathroom with their sit. I was in some special education classes when I was really young and our teacher dropped dead in front of the class. She had a brain aneurysm and just kinda boop error 404, D and wasn't there anymore. For a very long time I thought it was my fault because the day before I had told her I hope you die. I said this to her as a 7 years old who was having a bit of a meltdown at school. Bright lights. Loud noises. 
and sit. As a now 33 years old man I still think back to that and it's like a constant reminder to never ever tell someone to die. Grade 3. The teacher always picked two kids to choose their teammates in gym class, day after day. Each team leader would pick from the group of kids sitting on the gym floor to join their team. Day after day. There was the same one kid left at the end. Day after day. The two team leaders would actually argue about who had to take that one last kid. The kid put on a brave face, but you could see the hurt on their face. I don't know what the frock those teachers were thinking. 40-something-year-old buff white male teacher put a skinny freshman, Cholo, in a headlock because he didn't want to do his classwork. Student got suspended for aggravating the teacher. Poor kid never even defended himself. I was walking around the building one day and walked into a stairwell. I heard a noise coming from underneath the stairwell. I round the corner and make eye contact with this guy. I look down and see he is balls deep in a girl. I walk away. Someone was suspected that they committed suicide in the school's parking lot. Not any of the students neither staff. Just some random dude. In high school a fight that required ambulances and police. A guy student said something about a woman student and she proceeded to chase him out of the room caught him in the hallway everyone followed and she proceeded to pound him into the locker hard. In college it was probably the girl who looked she was trying to suicide by car. Just a pile of a uh, fluid in the boys bathroom with blood in it. I have no idea how or why but it was there. 